Hi folks, I'm Steve Grisetti and over the next few minutes I'm going to show you Red Giant's Universe Transitions and Effects for Vegas Pro. Now Red Giant's plugins and effects have been used in a number of broadcast television shows and feature films and Universe is both a community of filmmakers and video makers and an ever-growing library of effects and transitions that are available for you to plug right into Sony Vegas. Once you load the plugins into the program you'll find them under the Transitions tab right here and I click on that. And if I go down to the bottom if I want to see just the Universe Transitions I can go to the Universe transitions folder here at the bottom toggle it open you see we have about two dozen very very cool transitions and of course because they're red giant transitions they also are wonderfully customizable so let's create a transitional segment here in Vegas I want to make sure my automatic crossfades is turned on and then I'm just going to drag one event over another generally one second is a good transitional point but we're going to take it up to about two seconds here for demonstration purposes and now we can play with some of the effects one of my favorites here is the unfold effect I like it it's a nice three-dimensional effect as a number of these are we'll drag it onto the transitional segment. Let me just move this out of the way a little bit. I'm going to hold down the control key so it doesn't drop into any of the panels. And what we have in our transitional segment is one event folding up or moving aside while the other one unfolds. And we can control how this behaves in a number of ways. We can control the interpolation of the movement. In other words, this is what they call the animation here, but it basically is how one event leaves and the other event moves in. And there are a number of tweaks you can do, including having one ease in or the other ease in or both ease in. You can set it up for sine, exponential, cubic, quad. These are very, very subtle changes, but you have the option of using them in any way you'd like. I like ease in, out, quad. That's a nice default direction to go. We can also set the direction that these things fold out. Right now it's set right to left. We can make it left to right or even upwards and downwards so that our fold comes from the top or the bottom. We can add motion blurs and edge smoothing too. Now, as you know, in Vegas, whenever you apply a different transition, it erases the old transition. So let's try one of the others. One of my favorites here, Rubik's Cube. And as you might expect, it turns your video into sort of a Rubik's Cube. Now this is with only two tiles. We can set it up to four, six, nine, whatever we want. Let's try it at four. Our transition now breaks the cube into four three-dimensional objects here for our transition. Now sometimes there's a background color to your transitions, but a lot of times when you see black in the background, it means it's actually transparent. So in other words, I could take another clip for instance, this green motion clip, add it behind my transitional segment here, and now suddenly my transition is happening over a background. The universe set also includes a number of glitch transitions. We'll add a glitch here. Glitch, as you might expect, makes it look like something's wrong with your video. A number of really cool presets in here also. And when your video glitches out, it just, like I say, goes from one event to the other, looking like something's very, very wrong with the video. Kind of fun when that's intentional, isn't it? In addition to these transitions, the program includes a number of video effects. So we can go over here to the video effects tab. And if I go down to the bottom, you can see we have inside here a number of folders. We'll just toggle a couple of them open. One of my personal favorite, Retrograde, which you'll find under the Stylize collection. Retrograde gives your video the look of a home movie or something shot on very old or very bad video. This is set for, by default, to 8mm black and white. We can set it to 8mm cartridge or 8mm home video, and you can see it actually changes the aspect ratio in addition to shifting the color and adding lots of scratches and dust. We can go all the way up to 16 millimeter, sort of a 60 millimeter documentary look, complete with damage to the film, or even a 16 millimeter home movie. Let's remove retrograde. No Light Factory is also very, very cool. You'll find those also in the stylized effects. And it adds a lens flare. Lens flare is pretty common. You can find them in almost any video editor, but not to this extent. Take a look at this wonderful category of not only science fiction, cinematic, motion graphics flares. But if I go down here to the bottom and click on or check this box that says show the lens library, you can see a lot, a lot of options here for creating lens flares. And you can, of course, animate these lens flares any way you'd like. You can increase their intensity. You can change their position and do a lot of cool things, a lot more things than you can do with sort of your standard stock lens flare kind of plug-in. 
Another one that is kind of a cool effect is the hollow matrix, which creates a number of cool visual effects, very much science fiction style effects. Even by default here, we're at sort of a hologram look. We can go to an unstable blue hologram. And as you see, it's your hologram complete with glitches. We've got sort of an old TV with terrible reception, which gives you your lines and glitches. And my personal favorites are the visions options. So we can go to night vision, security camera look, or even the Terminator look here. And the Terminator, uh, you get not just sort of the red kind of Terminator vision, but if you'd like, they even have a damaged Terminator, like he got slapped upside the head a couple of times and it kind of messed up his vision. So it's got a couple of glitches thrown in there. Very, very cool. A number of these effects work very well on uh, titles and text. This is just um, a white text on a black background, but watch what happens when we add some of these effects to it. So let's put the hollow, hollow matrix effect on there. And you can see that not only does it get kind of a hologram look to the title, but it also adds a couple of glitches in there. Makes for a much more interesting kind of, again, science fiction look. And you can even go down here to the Terminator damage look and give your title kind of a really cool, kind of a shaky damaged look to it too. Another effect that looks terrific on titles are the glow effects and you'll find them up here in the universe glow category. Uh, Glowfy is pretty cool. We can apply it and it's got a little animation built into it and when you play your title you can see it kind of glimmers. Very cool and it has a number of very cool presets also including overbright and you can control of course the direction and the radius and a lot of the other cool elements and characteristics of your glows. So these are a number of very very cool effects and as always with Red Giant the real beauty of these effects and transistors is not just how cool they are outright but also how customizable they are. Kind of limited only by your imagination. Meantime I encourage you to hop on over to the Red Giant website and sign up for Universe. It costs nothing to join the community here and you get a lot of really cool free transitions and effects that you can download for Vegas and plug right into the program in addition to the option to join the premium team and get the entire set of universe effects. Very, very cool stuff. I'm Steve Grisetti and I hope you've enjoyed this look at these very cool tools. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.